Who are some of your street gangsters that you, you know that you looked up to that say, yo, that dude right there, put it down official? You know, well, yeah, Pat. You got um Prince. Cat. I mean, Cat was he ran it at one point. You know what I'm saying? And that I mean, they say they call him snitch, but he told him himself. Mm-hmm. All he told he told himself on crimes that they wouldn't have been able to catch him on. That's in order, attention. yeah, in order to to let his moms not go to jail for the rest of, for her time. Salute to all the Raising Canaan supporters. Welcome back to the Power Book Multiverse and Cinema Show, where you'll get the latest in Power Universe and Cinema breakdowns. His snaps loosely based on Fat Cat Nichols. When y'all look at this picture that I got as the thumbnail, right, y'all see the two arrows. One uh, to the left is pointed at the guy in the skipper hat, and then the one on the right is pointed at the guy in the skipper hat. Now, obviously, the guy on the Raising Canaan part of the picture to the right he isn't um, snaps, right? But when I look at the sailor hat, I think this is an Easter egg and a nod to Fat Cat Nichols and his crew. And if you look at the actual stuff on the internet and the stuff in Fat Cat Nichols' case, Fat Cat Nickel was connected to who? The Supreme Team. Um, the Supreme Team was connected to who at one time? 50 cent. So when we look at this situation, it's very plausible that Snaps would probably be Fat Cat Nichols. Now, when we look at Snaps, Snaps is to the right of the screen. He got on a blue jacket and he's standing next to Pops who got on the um, blue and white checkered jacket. Now, side note, I'm going to do another uh, video about Snap and Pop. I actually found a picture of Fat Cat online with the lady who I think would be loosely based on Pops. The video I played for y'all at the beginning was 50 Cent talking about Lorenzo Fat Cat and how he had respect for him and basically how Lorenzo didn't snitch. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say he snitched, but only thing Lorenzo did was he told on himself basically so they wouldn't take his mama to jail. And so I mean, is that him snitching or is that taking accountability? Those 50 cent words, but also I feel the same way. Like, how can you snitch on yourself? Well, you can tell what you did, but that's not considered snitching because you're not taking your organization down. You're not taking nobody to jail with you. You're not saying nobody else committed this hit. Nobody did this. Nobody did that. So when you look at this situation and all the evidence I just gave out to y'all, I 1000% think that uh, Snaps is based on Fat Cat Nichols. Even when you look at it, they got a similar build. They got a similar face, even with the be uh, with the beard and everything. You see the glasses, and also Snaps is an OG. You know what I'm saying? And um, his description kind of fits the description of Fat Cat Nichols. If you do a little digging on the internet, like I did. I appreciate y'all helping me get to 32 subscribers. Keep clicking that subscribe button. Why? Because nobody going to be able to give y'all the breakdown like I am. Why? Because I grew up in the 50 Cent era. When 50 Cent came out, I was actually out in the streets moving around through the Chicago era. 50 Cent was the soundtrack to my life. Not only that, I've listened to every 50 Cent interview that's on the internet. Um, I've also listened to 50 Cent book, uh, The 50 of Law. I've listened to Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter. He got another book I listened to. I can't remember the name of it. But the purpose of me saying that is that I really understand the nuances and the ins and out of not only the power universe, not only the black culture, but also, and most importantly, um, the life of 50 Cent, especially when it comes to the Raising Canaan situation. So I'm expecting Raising Canaan to go maybe six, seven, maybe eight. That's a stretch, but maybe eight seasons. And so it's a lot of this stuff that we're going to see that I'm going to be able to put together for y'all like nobody else can do. And because of that, it's going to give y'all a way different view of the power universe in the show Raising Canaan. So y'all got to click that like button. And also, I'm going to do a video about the real ghost, too, because there's something going on with that. Basically, it's a lawsuit going on with a guy out of New York uh, over the intellectual property of ghosts. If you like this Raising Canaan breakdown and looking forward to more videos just like this, click the like button, the subscribe button, and turn on all the notification bells.